Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. This is Rishabh from Ascending Techie and today we are going to be testing two noise cancelling softwares that this era of technology has brought for us. The first being NVIDIA's own RTX Voice or as it is now called NVIDIA Broadcast and the second one being ASUS's own noise cancellation software based on AI. In order to use them, there are specifications that you need to meet though. In order to use RTX Voice, you need to have at least a RTX 2000 series card or higher. But, 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 if you are tech savvy enough, there are ways in which you can fool RTX Voice into running on a system which has an older GPU. For example, I have been using this feature since almost it launched on my old laptop, which has a mere 940MX GPU from NVIDIA. If you'd like to see a video on how to get it running on a system with an old GPU, do let me know in the comments below. In order to use the software from ASUS, you need to have a compatible motherboard as listed for the software on their website. So if you have been watching my videos, you already know that I built a PC in January which sports a RTX 3080 and the tough B550M Gaming Plus motherboard and thus we have the opportunity to test both of these softwares today. So in order to use any of them, you have to select your microphone as the input device so that the software can filter out the noise from that microphone. Once that is done, you have to select the software NVIDIA Broadcast or ASUS Noise Cancelling as your input into whichever software or game in which you want your filtered voice to go. I'm going to run the test on highest noise reduction settings to see the best performance of each software. Let's start testing both of them then. We will be performing two tests, one with the fan on medium speed and some chattering audio playing on my phone at half the volume and with me mashing on the keyboard just near the mic to make the scene more realistic. For the second test, we will be having the ceiling fan at maximum speed, a robot vacuum cleaner cleaning the room with the doors closed and music playing on Google Home an arm's length away from the microphone with me mashing on the keyboard again. Rest in peace ears. So I'm going to read this part so that it makes the test much easier for me and for you to know the difference. So, as a reference, I will be putting in audio from the phone on which I am recording this video which is the Samsung Galaxy M31 which will be quite noisy. And then we will switch to NVIDIA Broadcast to give you an idea of how good the GPU is at filtering out the noise and at the end we will switch to ASUS Noise Cancellation giving us a comparison against NVIDIA Broadcast which from what I have tested so far should be much better than NVIDIA Broadcast. Then we will switch to NVIDIA Broadcast to give you an idea of how good the GPU is at filtering out the noise and at the end we will switch to ASUS noise cancellation software giving us a comparison against RTX Voice which from what I have tested so far is much better at it than NVIDIA Broadcast. Okay so I hope this gives you an idea of how both of these softwares are performing when compared to each other and to the surrounding which was quite noisy. So everything comes at a cost of performance, right? For NVIDIA Broadcast, I have been using it since I started streaming actually and I would use it while streaming to cancel out the noise as well as to uh, remove the background from my camera input on the stream. 
but there has not been any such issue where I am losing performance on such a scale that the game I am trying to play is unplayable. But this can vary very easily on another GPU like a 3060 or something like that. So this is something that I can only comment about and not for the GPUs that I don't. When I use it on my laptop though, it actually utilizes a lot of GPU power and the fans keep ramping up usually. But if you want to use this feature for regular work, then most probably your GPU will be idle or your CPU will be idle as well. For the software from Asus, it barely utilizes any CPU power and I think it is reasonably performing quite well when compared to NVIDIA Broadcast. I've also been using it since the last three streams and the performance is very surprising. Uh, the noise filtering is great as well as I'm not getting any more hit on my performance on GPU on the stream as well. When I'm playing games, the, a processor like the 3700X is not being utilized at 100% and thus the CPU has idle time where it can be used to filter out the noise without hitting the performance on my games. So I hope you learned how good these softwares are at doing their job and how they compare to each other. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, be kind to everyone.